Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome dear learners this is a video for the subject of education for the course of bachelor's in education and for the paper of educational technology part 2 this video lecture is based on the emerging technologies and issues in educational technology and this specific lecture is going to talk about the steps involved in the learner controlled instruction or the lci this video lecture is recorded by dr iram khan the course coordinator and the presenter of this video is dr iram khan from jamia millia islamia new delhi the academic expert or the reviewer of this video is professor nasreen mujib from aligarh muslim university aligarh this video is produced under the project dth swayam prabha channels of ministry of education government of india hello dear students i am dr iram khan assistant professor at institute of advanced studies in education faculty of education jamia millia islamia new delhi today we will be discussing a topic related to emerging technologies and issues in educational technology and the topic of today's lecture is based on the steps involved in the learner controlled instruction or the lci let us start the discussion first with the objectives the objectives of this session are to discuss the steps of learner controlled instruction or lci and to elaborate the steps of learner controlled instruction or lci so let us try to recall what we have studied about the lci or the learner controlled instruction what exactly this particular method of instruction means so we have seen that the learner controlled instruction is that method or process of individualized instruction where the learner exercises full control over the total process of instruction right from the setting of the objectives to the realization of these objectives and this leads all the way throughout by making the teacher basically a kind of person who assists or helps the student merely in the capacity of a good resource person so this is some somehow a meaning or the definition of the learner controlled instruction and we can see that here this particular definition tells us that what exactly this learner controlled instruction basically does so here the learner is at the center and teacher's role is just uh, the role of a facilitator or a resource person so somehow the entire control of the learning process is in the hands of the learner now let us try to see that what exactly are those steps which are required when we are uh, undergoing the process of learner controlled instruction so in this lecture we are going to talk about uh, the steps which are involved in the learner controlled instruction so the learner controlled instruction basically here we have seen that the complete control of the learning process is in the hands of a learner so what we can say that the learner dominates the individualized instructional process which we popularly know as the learner controlled instruction process so there are many steps which are involved when we try to make a kind of procedural aspect of the learner controlled instruction we will see these steps one by one so let us see what is the first step the first step is to take the decision and this decision is about the initial behavior and since the learner is the best source of information about himself or herself here this learner is provided the opportunity to mark his or her own initial standing in terms of the abilities and the potentials which this learner is having so this is the first step where there is a decision which is taken about the initial behavior of the learner and yes we can say that this particular decision is taken by the learner himself 
second step is to take the decision about the setting of the objectives and as we have seen in the definition that this process or this particular step is also uh, taken by or uh, completed by the learner so what the learner wants to study and where this learner uh, needs like where this learner is willing to uh, to go ahead when the learning is happening where this learner is willing to reach in terms of the educational goals all these things are being decided by the learner himself or herself so this decision is again very much left to the learner and there is no any intervention of any of the uh, other uh, persons or the, even the teacher so here we can say that if we talk about that what is going to be the role of this teacher when this uh, process of setting of the objectives is being taken care of then we can say that the teacher is going to only help if it is required or if it is asked by the learner so the teacher will only help in this task so that the objectives are clearly specified in behavioral terms although the, the setting of these objectives are done by the student or the learner himself or herself so this is the second step now let us move to the third step the third step is the selection and sequencing of the learning experiences what exactly it means when we talk about the lci there lies no fixed pattern of learning experiences and because in this case of lci the entire process of learning basically is very much opposed to the traditional teaching where we have seen that there is a fixed curriculum and there are already set learning experiences or instructional or um, kind of programs which are already prepared and all these things in the traditional teaching system are done or determined by the teacher or the programmer so lci is entirely different from this traditional teaching methodology because it is very much different so we can see that the learner is left free to instruct himself or herself in any way in any order that the learner chooses for the realization of the behaviorally stated objectives in the lci what what exactly it actually gives us it gives us the point that in the traditional teaching uh, method we have seen that everything was pre decided and everything was uh, decided by the teacher or the curriculum developers but here in the lci the learner is somebody who decides on the uh, setting of the objectives and how the learner basically is going to uh, to do whatever is to be done in the realization of those behaviorally stated objectives this learner may put any question to the teacher he or she can do any activity or experiment whatever he or she wishes he or she can get any assistance or information which this learner likes from the teacher or any other resource which is provided here in the system so in this way the learner may be able to develop his or her own sequence of learning according to his or her own needs interests and abilities for the realization of the objectives so this third step which states that selection and sequencing of the learning experiences here also we can see the dominance of the learner and not the teacher which which we can see in the traditional teaching method so this is entirely different even in the case of selection and sequencing of learning experiences now let us move to the next and the fourth step the fourth step is the step related to evaluation of the instructional process 
Now, what exactly this means? Because evaluation is somehow very important if we are going ahead with learning. So, evaluation is a compulsory part. So, we have seen that the entire control in the lear uh, this learner controlled instruction process lies in the hands of the learner. So, the whole instructional process becomes a shared responsibility of both the teacher and the learners here in this system. The teacher, although the teacher is not playing a leading role, he or she, this teacher, is always there to help and assist the individual learners. This teacher persuades the learners to engage in self-evaluation of their learning outcomes in terms of the realization of the set objectives. So we can see that here the teacher basically helps the learners. He or she is not supervising. Basically, the teacher is guiding the students whenever they require some kind of guidance. The teacher can guide the, the uh, students and if they want to do some practical or some sort of uh, practice or any drill kind of thing they want to do, uh, if they are going with some of those projects and other experimental activities, then the teacher is going to play a little bit of more uh, a role where if required, the teacher will be providing some sort of guidance. And here also we have to see that this guidance is need-based. If the learner is going to ask, then only the teacher is going to provide the guidance. So this is somehow the most important part of the learner-controlled instruction. Then there are many sort of uh, evaluation methodologies which are uh, used in due course of the uh, evaluation process of the learner controlled instruction. Like there are periodic tests and other evaluation devices uh, which uh, can also be used or uh, you can see that in the system it can be inserted or it can be the part of the system for the evaluation of the individual learner's performance with respect to the learner's learning through this learner controlled instruction program. So the program can be having some sort of uh, test or so any sort of tool which is designed for the particular uh, testing. So periodically the tests can be provided but it will be the discretion of the student then that when the student or the learner is willing to take the test. So the test will be available but it will be the choice of the learner that when the learner is going to take the test for, uh, uh, for actually getting this self-evaluation done so that the performance check can be seen. So this is uh, the fourth uh, step uh, which is dealing with the evaluation of the instructional process in the learner controlled instruction. So in this way now we have seen that there are four steps which are involved and in this particular session we have seen that uh, uh, a little recapitulation was done in terms of LCI's uh, meaning where we have seen that LCI refers to a method or process of individualized instruction where the learner exercises full control over the total process of instruction right from the setting of the objectives or uh, you can say that till the realization of uh, these objectives and also towards the leading uh, leading the learners towards the way uh, throughout uh, the learning process. And here the role of the teacher is just to assist the learners and the teacher actually provides only uh, the help and uh, the capacity of this teacher is just like the uh, capacity of a good resource person. And when we talk about the steps which are involved, the major steps which are followed in adoption of the LCI, the definition can 
be seen reflected here in the steps also because we have seen that the first step is to take the decision about the initial behavior which is taken by the student then the second step which is taking the decision about the setting of the objectives and here also the role of the learner is the foremost then the third step talked about the selection and sequencing of the learning experiences and here also the role of the teacher is merely somehow provider of the help or assistance whenever it is required to the learner and learner is again playing the important role even in the process of selection and sequencing of the learning experiences and then the last step and the important step we can say is the evaluation of the instructional process and we have seen that the program or the system actually contains certain uh, evaluation methodologies and tools but it is the discretion of the learner that when and where the learner is going to take up the rest for making the uh, kind of self evaluation so that the performance of the learner in that particular course can be checked so this, these were all the steps related to the learner controlled instruction these are few of those references and the links uh, which were used while developing this lecture you can also go ahead and study more by the help of these uh, suggested links this was all about today's session related to the steps of uh, the learner controlled instruction let us see each other in another session another time thank you for this time. dear learners we were watching a video on the emerging technologies and issues in educational technology and this lecture talked about the steps involved in the learner controlled instruction or the lci this video lecture was recorded by faculty at home during the home bound situation of covid-19 pandemic using minimal technical resources technical errors if any are unintentional and may please be ignored for any queries with regard to this lecture or broadcast kindly send your email to techsupport@dth.ac.in thank you so much